Apple Aperture integration. All right, here we are inside of Aperture. You can also use Phototune here as well. To use it, select the image you'd like to work on, then right click and from the Edit With menu, select Phototune 3. This will bring up the Phototune 3 dialog. From here, you can select a preset to apply by browsing the preset categories or typing in what you're looking for into the search field. Or, if you have no preset selected, you can also select the Open button, which will open the image into a standalone version of Phototune that doesn't require Photoshop. From here, you have the ability to make all the adjustments you normally would from inside of Phototune. I'm going to go ahead and start with a preset here, my Vivid Landscape preset, and then we can make any adjustments to it that we need to. Maybe we want to have a little bit higher punch option. I'm just going to bring my punch up a little bit to about 10. That'll bring the color and the local contrast up. When everything's set the way I want, just press the Apply button. The image will be saved, and we'll be right back inside of Aperture. Aperture automatically handles creating the new version and duplicate file for me. So you can see here, there's two versions of the image, the original and the adjusted version right there. That's how easy it is to use Phototune inside of Aperture.